Hey everybody, what's going on? Aaron here from Functional Aesthetics EC. So I just got back from a long run slash walk. Um, something that I like to do on the weekends, just kind of help me uh, unwind and decompress after a long week. Um, I used to be really into long distance running, not so much anymore, but I still do enjoy just getting out there just for the uh, fun of just moving your body, being out in nature, especially on a gorgeous day like this here in uh, Wisconsin during the fall, right before it gets cold. So while I was out on my run, um, like I said, I don't just strictly run anymore. So a lot of times I like to kind of hybrid train a little bit. And so I'll incorporate push-ups and climb up, you know, walls or uh, find a park and do some pull-ups, do handstands, things like that. And uh, then continue on my run. And uh, so I today I was kind of experimenting with a couple different plank variations as uh, I showed you a couple of them in last week's video. We did the bear crawl, we did the revolving plank, and we did some crab walks. So today, I came up with a new plank, which I feel is really good for your rotator cuff. Also, obviously great for the core, and because you're moving, uh, adds a little bit more element of stability, so it's a little bit more challenging for your core. So anyway, what I call it is the wagon wheel, and you'll see in a minute why I call it that. All right, so you set up for this one the same as you would with a normal plank. Shoulders stacked over your hands, keeping your hips tucked under. And then from there, you're gonna use your feet as the hub of the wheel, or as the axle, and you're gonna move counterclockwise around, crossing your hands over as you do so. And then from there, we can go back the other way. All right, so that's all I've got for this week's video. Um, I find that this exercise gives you a much more intense abdominal exercise than doing a regular plank because you are moving. So you have to stabilize yourself from uh, trying to rotate as one hand is leaving the ground and you're also moving in that circle. Also, you get a little bit of activation, in your lat muscles here along the sides. You also get great uh, workout for stabilizing your rotator cuff. Obviously the triceps are getting a little bit of work, your front delts and your chest. So don't take my word for it, give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, thank you all again for watching this video. We'll see you all next time for more health and fitness related information. Talk to you soon.